Life's Too Short by Abby Jimenez is a contemporary romance novel that explores the themes of family, love, and living life to the fullest in the shadow of uncertainty. The story follows the lives of two main characters, Vanessa Price, a famous travel YouTuber dealing with a family hereditary illness, and Adrian Copeland, a workaholic lawyer living next door. Vanessa Price is known for her spontaneous adventures and zest for living life to the utmost. Her career involves traveling the world and sharing her experiences with her fans. However, Vanessa is acutely aware that her time may be cut short due to a family history of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, a genetic and terminal illness that has claimed the lives of many of her relatives, including her mother. Vanessa's older sister also has ALS, leaving Vanessa to take care of her young niece, Grace, since her sister can no longer do so. Meanwhile, Adrian Copeland lives next door to Vanessa. He's a corporate attorney, dedicated and diligent, but his life is all work and no play. He hasn't taken a vacation in years and has no significant other to spend time with. He's the opposite of Vanessa. He plays it safe and plans for the future while Vanessa lives for today, knowing her days may be numbered. Their lives intersect when Adrian's sleep is interrupted by the cries of baby Grace next door. He goes over to check and finds an overwhelmed Vanessa trying to care for her niece. Initially, Adrian offers help reluctantly, but he quickly becomes enamored with both Grace and Vanessa. They strike up a friendship, and Adrian starts helping Vanessa with baby Grace, spending more and more time with them. As Vanessa and Adrian spend time together, they help each other grow and face their fears. Vanessa teaches Adrian how to enjoy life and break free from his rigid lifestyle. On the other hand, Adrian provides Vanessa with support and stability, something she desperately needs given her uncertain future. He also offers legal help to make sure Grace is taken care of if something happens to Vanessa. Their friendship eventually turns into a romantic relationship. However, the romance is not without its difficulties. Adrian has to learn to balance his work with his personal life, and Vanessa deals with the constant worry of her health and the future of her niece. Vanessa also grapples with whether it's fair to involve Adrian in a relationship that may lead to heartache if her health declines. Throughout the novel, Vanessa continues to deal with various family crises, her sister's deteriorating health, the fear of her own eventual decline, and the anxiety of her niece's future. Despite Adrian's support, she struggles with the decision to undergo genetic testing to finally determine if she has the gene mutation for ALS. Her fear of the results and the implications for her life, Grace's future, and her potential relationship with Adrian weigh heavily on her. In the midst of their growing relationship, Vanessa receives another blow. She discovers her father, a man who had been absent for most of her life and denied that the illness was genetic, has also been diagnosed with ALS. This revelation prompts Vanessa to face her fears and have the genetic testing done. Before the results come in, Adrian asks Vanessa to live with him, whatever the outcome may be, and she accepts. The tension in the book crescorts as Vanessa receives the results of her genetic test. She does not carry the ALS gene mutation. This knowledge lifts the cloud that has been looming over Vanessa's life and allows her and Adrian to fully commit to a future together without the specter of ALS hanging over them. They can now plan a life together with grace, relieved that Vanessa will not suffer the same fate as her mother and sister. The end of the novel is a mix of bitter and sweet moments. Vanessa loses her sister, but also celebrates life without the fear of ALS. Adrian no longer lets work dominate his life and opens up to the unpredictable beauty of love and family with Vanessa and Grace. Through their journey, they learn that life may be too short, but it's also wide and filled with possibilities when you have the right person by your side. Their story reaffirms the importance of making the most of the time you have and cherishing the people you love. Vanessa and Adrian's love story demonstrates that it's not just about how much time you have, but what you do with it that counts. As Vanessa continues to travel and share her experiences, Adrian is by her side. Together, they show that a short life can be an incredibly rich one when it is lived fully surrounded by love and support. The book concludes on a hopeful note that while we can't control everything in life, we can choose who we spend it with and how we spend our precious moments. 
You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.